Hello, I'm Paul Owagi, a Precision Ag Consultant with CNB Operation. I'd like to welcome you to today's segment of Technology Thursday. Today, I would like to go over the different activations and subscriptions that are available for a Gen 4 display. I wanted to put this presentation together because over the years we have a somewhat of a confusion um, on what an activation and what a subscription is for our Gen 4 displays. So first we'll talk about what a Gen 4 display is. Uh, 4100 and 4600 displays um, on, the, on the armrest or the command center displays are, are in our tractors, combines, and uh, sprayers. They are part of the machine. A 4240 and a 4640 display are universal displays that can be moved from machine to machine. <clears throat> A 4600 command center display, um, activations are installed into the machine and they stay with that particular machine uh, for the life of the, of the machine. Uh, activations are non-transferable, which means you cannot move them from, from one, to one machine or one display to another. And this is a one-time purchase. The 4600 command center <clears throat> display version one processor uh, was installed in tractors from 2014 to 2017 and anything from 2018 and after in any of our machines is a is a version 2 processor. Um, the version 1 processor has limited capabilities as compared to our version 2 processor. Um, they have uh, a number of activations that were available over the years um, such as premium 1.0, premium 2.0, um, the only activation that's available now for a version one processor is an auto track activation. And if you want to install any other activations into a uh, tractor that has a version one processor, we need to update the processor to a version two. And then we have the capabilities of what would be a 2018 newer machine in, in a, um, display on the armrest for our command center. Activations that are available for version 2 um, uh, command center display, um, auto track documentation and data sync are factory installed. They just come with, with the machine and then you can add uh, premium 3.0 and premium 4. Point, excuse me, premium 3.0 and automation 4.0 onto the display. Um, premium 3.0 includes um, the items that come with the the factory install, then we get uh, John Deere section control, auto track row sense, and infield data sharing. With automation um, activation 4.0, you get all the items that are included with the premium 3.0, and we add auto path. Um, auto track turn automation, auto track uh, passive implement guidance, um, and then Gen 4 machine sync. Um, the previous activation for automation was 3.0 um, with just a short time ago. Deer came out with automation 4.0, which includes auto path. Um, they're basically essentially the same activation except they add auto path. It's the same price through Deer, and we can upgrade a a display that has automation 3.0 to 4.0 uh, for no charge through your CMB dealership. Okay, we'll talk about the 4240 display. <clears throat> it's a universal display, can be moved from machine to machine. Um, it can be ordered with or without auto track. Ordering it without auto track makes it an economical display only. Um, I'm just going to use an example for maybe a, uh, a premium or an R series baler. Um, documentation and data sync um, are included with the display from the factory and we have the ability to add section control to the display for a one-year um, time period as a subscription. Um, that's where our subscriptions come in now is for the 4240 and 4640 displays. You, you purchase them as a one-time, uh, excuse me, a one-year um, period, one year at a time. A uh, 4640 universal display has uh, more capabilities than a 4240. 
Um, the early 4640s uh, could have been ordered without auto track. We can add the auto track activation into these displays that may not have it today. Um, later 4640 displays have auto track documentation and data sync built into them. Um, all the other capabilities and features of the display are a one year subscription. <clears throat> 4640 Universal Displays um, are, are available. We can add Premium 3.0 subscription, which includes the items that came with the display, and then we can add with, with Premium 3.0, John Deere Section Control, Auto Track Row Sense, and Infield Data Sharing. Then we have Automation 3.0 subscription. That includes the, uh, the premium capabilities, and then we add auto track turn automation, auto track passive implement guidance, and uh, Gen 4 machine sync. Automation 4.0 um, is the same as um, what we talked about in the 4600s. It, it gave us the capability for the same price of adding auto path. As of this time, um, as this recording, uh, Deere was still offering the Automation 3.0 and the 4.0, but they are the same price, so um, I would lean toward ordering the 4.0. Again, if a 4640 display has an Automation 3.0 subscription on it, um, it's the same price and we can upgrade it to a 4.0. Um, as far as any questions or um, any pricing information, I would uh, ask you to please visit your local C&B store uh, for more details um, and keeping in mind that machines, most machines would need other capabilities to use some of the features that we have in our displays and more advanced features. Um, you can also visit our website at DeerEquipment.com and uh, learn more information. Thank you for watching today's segment of Technology Thursday. I'm Paul Lawaji for CMB Operations, your John Deere dealer of choice.